Blessed love and blessings way, way, way up. So we got Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. versus Denny Jacobs. And I wasn't going to talk about this fight for multiple reasons that have surfaced. Um, let's talk about it. Welcome to Real Life Boxing! Blessed love and blessed day, oh boxing world, boxing nation, fighting world, fight nation. It's coach fighting, this is real life boxing. As I said, we got Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. versus Danny Jacobs. That's going down, um, yeah, tonight on the zone, Friday night on the zone. And um, like I said, I wasn't going to talk about this fight for multiple reasons, um, just because of all the confusion and stuff that has been involved with this fight. But before we get into it, I'm going to ask you guys to smash all up on that like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified when all things are being uploaded on the channel of Real Life Boxing. Let's talk about it. So um, first of all, <clears throat> I know leading up to this fight, there was just um, a lot of confusion, dates changing. Um, the fight wasn't going to happen at first, I believe. And then Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., um, he refused to take, uh, if it was Vada, he refused um, drug testing. Like, they showed up to his workout facility where he was working out um, to collect a sample of his urine, and he straight turned them down. Like, he straight was like, no, I'm not giving it to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just... Um, straight rebel straight rebellious you know what i'm saying but he was just like nah i'm not i'm not giving it to y'all you know what i'm saying um they then i believe uh they revoked his um his license to fight wherever the fight was taking place um i believe like i said this is just all the shit that i've been hearing i never really covered it but this is what um i'm remembering going on correct me if i'm wrong but he refused to take the drug testing. Um, if then, so then they revoked. They, they took away his his license um, to fight in wherever the fight was taking place. And then Eddie Hearn moved it to a different location where um, Chavez Jr. was licensed to fight. And um, there's just been all, Eddie Hearn's been getting backlash. Um, there's just been all types of drama with it. But either way, the fight is still going on. Okay, so um. They do the weigh-in yesterday, which was Thursday, because the fight is on is on Friday. The fight is today, so they do the weigh-in, and they were fighting at um I believe super middleweight, 168 pounds. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. shows up at 172 point something pounds, four five pounds over the weight, four five pounds over the weight limit. Um like you you can't you can't make this shit up with this guy just over just um i mean over the course of his career just the continuous continuous onslaught of fuckery by julio cesar chavez jr um such a night and day um such a night and day comparison with his dad you know what i'm saying um this guy is just 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 one time after the after the other just completely shit in the bed just completely shitting on boxing um just completely showing that he's unable to be focused unable to be dedicated to the sport of boxing um even every time it looks like he's coming back and he's gonna do what's right look in this instant um you know he was posting stuff on instagram with him getting all big and um you know doing his heavy bag work and then he takes this fight he refuses to take the bloody drug test and refuses to be drug tested and then shows up four or five pounds overweight um 
he's charged a million dollars so i believe he was getting paid three so now he's getting paid two and one goes to denny jacobs just absolutely ridiculous the fight has been moved to 173 pounds you can't he you i don't you can't make this shit up like don't ask me i'm just reporting jacobs <laughs> versus chavez jr moves forward now at 173 pound catch weight two days after securing a huge victory in the courtroom julio caesar Chavez jr fell prey to the toughest opponent of his career, The Scale, a currently scheduled non-title fight between the second generation boxer and Brooklyn's Daniel Jacobs will now take place at a modified catch weight of 173 pounds. An agreement was reached between the pair of former middleweight titleists, which includes an undisclosed settlement payable to Jacobs after it was revealed that Chavez Jr. would be unable to comply with the previous contracted limit of, 100 and, of 168 pounds. So um, it's not undisclosed anymore. He's charged a million and he's giving it to Danny Jacobs. Um, just absolutely ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this is why I didn't want to... Well, not, not that I didn't want to, but this is why I wasn't really given this fight um that much attention anyway you know what i'm saying it, it it at first sight it appears to be you know what i'm saying it, it could have the it, it could have the makings of a good fight daniel jacobs versus julio julio cesar Chavez jr but this dude absolutely just refuses to be dedicated and disciplined you know what i'm saying so um who knows what's going to happen in this fight this guy he doesn't have to weigh in the day of the fight so this guy could come in um you know 190 pounds who knows how much more weight he's gonna put on um just absolutely <laughs> ridiculous but um you know daniel jacob said he's still gonna take the fight he took an extra mil you know what i'm saying put an extra mil in his bag and say he's still gonna take the fight so he must be confident that he can beat julio cesar chavez but um who knows i don't know if i'm gonna be able to go live for this fight but if i do i will um and you guys tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section. It's just absolutely ridiculous. It's hilarious. It's, um, you can't make it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But y'all tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section. Until then, keep fighting your fight and protect yourself at all times. Peace and one love. So if you like this video and you would like to see more great content like this on the channel, go to the PayPal link or the Cash App link in the description and show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. This is Real Life Boxing.